rib here. To be honest, against a good level grappling, not very likely. But against someone in the street, probably going to work. So I'm here, he's throwing strikes. I wait for him to really load up for a nice big one, and I bridge him. If he goes to the side, it's going to be slightly awkward. I'm just going to come back underneath him. And I'm going to choose an arm. Both hands are going to come around this, and I'm going to suck it in. And then put it now. Notice how I lifted my head up to his chest. In jiu-jitsu, you'll see guys just lie down here and do that. What's the problem with lying down here and doing that? <laughs> I've got some big problems with this hand. So, now I might be really good and be able to time it and bridge him while he throws a strike, but who wants to take that bet? Because the power that he can generate from that strike is going to do massive damage. Taking that strike to do this defense is not worth it. Okay? When you're talking about, sometimes you're going to have to trade off getting hit to get something. It's just a reality when you're in a fight. You're going to get hit most probably. But this is not a worthwhile trade-off when he can load up on there. And even as I bridge, look, and I trap his foot and I bridge, and he throws a big ass strike down here as I roll him over. And then we're on the street, I just took that through my head and through concrete, and now I'm... And he jumps on top and just starts <laughs> killing me. So I want to raise my head up now, because now he goes to throw that same strike. Whoops. So important. 